We are back in Sunnyside at Bone Vino's, a friendly local spot with a unique and fresh breakfast and lunch menu. It's the ingredients that the chef uses. It's everything is fresh. It's one of the places in town that have a good variety of food. We tried to add a little more to the community and, and give them a little more variation. Owner and chef Roger Hazard took his love for cooking and his community and opened Bone Vino's, which is now turned into a town favorite. One thing led to another and there was Bone Vino's and we've been and established 10 years now. Roger is a very good chef and everything that he prepares is always really good. We've never had a bad meal. We're gonna do something with apples today? Yes, we are. Um, we're gonna do a braised beef with a red wine apple gramada. Also, we're gonna do a caramel apple butter uh, carrot Yum. to go with that too. We're gonna get cooking with our beautiful Washington apples. Two yeah. different kinds. Yeah, so we're gonna do a Granny Smith uh -huh. and we're gonna use a Red Delicious also today. All right, so. well, let's get started. We start with our Red Delicious apples and slice them into cubes. What do you love about using apples in, in your cooking? And like, we're doing savory dishes, but yeah. with apples, that's Yeah, exactly, cool. that's, and that's one thing nice about it. It's not just a fruit that, uh, that like desserts you had to, and stuff. Yeah, they eat and, and enjoy and uh, apple pies and stuff. Uh -huh. I mean, we can also implement these in uh, cooking. With our apples sliced, we start to make a caramel sauce by melting butter and brown sugar. We'll get it nice to the point where it's a nice bubble, nice roaring bubble. That's the only thing that you really got to watch out for uh, is overcooking it so it doesn't get hard on you. Sure. Because uh, then we'd have to make candy. Yeah, exactly. We don't want to <laughs> make candy. Once it's melted down and ready, it needs a little flame. Randy adds some brandy and sprinkles of cinnamon to flambe the caramel. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah, I'm so glad you're doing that, not me. <laughs> <laughs> so apples going like? next? Yep. Oh, yep. okay. Just dump them right in there. Okay. Okay. It's starting to smell like fall in here, you know? Yeah, I like know, that. isn't that awesome? Then we add blanched carrots to the batch and top it off with salt, pepper, and dried cranberries. I think they look beautiful. They do look beautiful, I agree. Okay. And then we'll put them in this bowl. Super colorful dish. And nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait to try these. These uh, are gonna go with the rest of our our yes, dish, right? Yes, that is correct. Perfect. Then we will get started on our next dish. We're so gonna, remolata, kind of explained, that's like it's a chopped I, up something. Yeah, it's an Italian dish. It's like I said, it's a garnish to go to complement your beef mm -hmm. or your pork. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna change it up a little bit. First, Roger shows me how to slice our apples into tiny pieces. Now, do you do other apple like dishes with apples here at? Yeah, we try to use a lot of the local produce, mm -hmm. um, and for sure the apples is our number one. Next, we make a red wine reduction on the stove, and once it's ready and chilled, we pour it on our apples. Then we add different spices, a drizzle of olive oil, and some lemon zest. Isn't it great that you have Washington apples to work with? I mean, like, oh, so, I know. so close, Gosh. like, right? I mean, just like right down the road. Yeah. Yeah. Now we can assemble our dish. Roger plates some potatoes and braised beef, and I pour on our apple gremolata. We add our caramel apple butter carrots and top it all off with a balsamic reduction. That is gorgeous. Time to get a taste of these unique savory apple dishes. The yeah, salty really meat and then the fruit. Delicious. Okay, now let's do the, we gotta try the carrot. carrots and apples. Mm -hmm. That's amazing. Sweet, caramely. What a great idea. Thank you so much. Excellent. You're so welcome. Delicious. You're and so easy welcome. Easy to do. To get the recipe for Bone Vino's red wine apple gremolata and caramel apple butter carrots, head over to wagrown.com.